Many Salt Lake City residents found the main library's doors locked this week. The city says the library will be closed until further notice while the plumbing there is being repaired. Fox 13 News reporter Jenna Bree shows us how the building being closed is impacting the community. The public library is a Salt Lake City landmark. Anytime we have someone who comes and visits, we come and walk around because it's so cool. Jalyn and Aiden Bender were looking forward to showing their friend from out of town the inside of the building. Then we saw the sign on the parking garage and we were like, oh, that can't be real. We didn't you can't close yeah. the library. <laughs> yeah. And so we came up here anyway and turns out it was real. Mm -hmm. Library's closed. Mm -hmm. Jalyn says the library being closed is a serious issue for the city's most vulnerable. We have a fairly big homeless population too, and I think some people just come in to get warm, and so that's sad that it's not a resource for that either. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah, like clean water and a uh, place for phones, internet, that kind of thing. In a statement, the Salt Lake City Public Library told Fox 13 News the library's main sewer line needs replacement. On Wednesday afternoon, a small leak was found, so the water was turned off. Writing, quote, fortunately, this was caught before it could become a bigger issue. The books and other materials are safe and sound, and there is no damage to the building. As this is an extensive repair, a reopening date is unknown at this time. But the teams are working as quickly as possible to get the building operational again. It feels sort of absurd that, like, plumbing is the reason it's closed. <laughs> but I'm glad that it's that and it's something that they can take care of rather than, like, an issue with anything book-wise. The Salt Lake City Library's seven other branches are all still open with regular hours. Due dates for anything borrowed from the main library have been pushed back. So at least that gives readers a little extra time to finish that book. In Salt Lake City, Jenna Bree, Fox 13 News, Utah.